Hello friends, what is up? David here from Basic Home Recording Studio and today I'm going to show you how in just five minutes you can record one guitar, one mic for your vocals and have each of those inputs go to its own track in your recording software. First I'll use a quarter inch instrument cable to connect the output of my guitar to input channel one of the interface, remembering to set the selector switch to guitar for that input. Then I'll use an XLR mic cable to connect the output of the microphone and in the stand like that. The other end of the XLR cable goes to input channel two, pow! Next, I'll connect my headphones to the output of the unit using an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter. Finally, I'll connect the entire interface to my computer using a USB cable like this. This interface has an indicator light on the top panel here, so you can tell that it's on when that USB light is lit. Drivers are simple pieces of software that allow your operating systems, such as Windows or Mac OS, to talk to your audio interface in this case, but this is true of really any device such as a mouse, keyboard, or printer, pretty much everything. And because operating systems are always being updated and tweaked, the drivers that interpret them are going to have to always be updated as well, to the point where the ones that ship with your unit are almost guaranteed to be obsolete way before they get into your house. So. I always recommend going to the manufacturer's website and downloading the latest version of the driver. To show you how to do this, let's go to a new browser window and in the search field we'll type in our interface US366 drivers and select the product page from Tascam. Now this shows all the drivers here as well as the date it was released on the right. So because I'm on a Windows machine I would want to go to this version of the driver from the most recent date and that looks like it and save. Now that my connections are made and the drivers are installed, I'm ready to launch my software recording program and for this demo I'll be using one called Reaper. Uh, once it opens up, first thing I want to do is tell the software what audio interface I'm using and to do that you go to options and preferences and under the audio device settings you can see here is the driver that we loaded earlier if you don't see your device in this pull down it's either unplugged or the driver hasn't been installed I hit OK and I'm back to the main screen this is called a project and inside a single project you can have many tracks for this demo since I want to have guitar and vocal I'm gonna add two new tracks one two and then I have to tell the software once again which input I want. So this one is going to be my guitar and I will have that to channel one. This will be the mic as we hooked it up earlier, channel two. And then I want to arm each track. So all that means is that when I hit record down here, whichever track is armed will get captured into its own, into its own file. You can see actually my voice on there as I'm recording this right now. And then the last thing I need to do is go onto the unit itself and set the gain on each channel. Uh, for more information on exactly how to do that, you can check out the article Gain Staging at the website. But if you've gotten this far, all that's left to do is hit record and play. And that is all there is to it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you will be the first to know when new content is added to the channel. Also, don't forget to head over to the website and have all your home recording questions answered there with 100% free content. And if you want to get in touch with me, head over to the Facebook page. Hit me up with a note there. That's the best way to get a hold of me. That's going to wrap up this video tutorial. My name is David, and as always, thank you for watching.